Okay, this is a 1972 Bell and Howell AM FM solid state cassette recorder. And I just got this today. This is the back, obviously. Model number 2398A. There's the battery compartment, AC cord compartment, and microphone compartment. Unfortunately, the microphone is missing. So you have to use the ICOS microphone for this demonstration. It's got a good heavy metal handle. Go over the controls. Okay. Okay. Big, uh, big function selector, which is obvious for the tape transport. Fast forward or fast rewind, stop, play, and fast forward, which isn't very fast. Um, the eject is here. Cassette door right here. You can see if you look. You know, I move that. You can see the little tiny thing way down in there moving. Running to it with my finger. Just zoom in a little bit. Show the rest. There is the tuning sector right here. You can see the tuning band. There's also a little level meter down here, which you can sort of make out, I guess. You can see the little chrome band on the screen. Unless YouTube has darkened this thing so much. It's right there. Volume, tone control, which doesn't work. Tuning, then choosing between radio, is radio and cassette. Then there's the FM tuning lock. And then up a little bit further. AM FM tuning, and then there's the record button, which is really hard to press down, even when there is a tape in it. And the speaker is located right there. It's a nice big one, it sounds good. There was a couple broken parts inside this, I had to remove them. Um, one of them is on accident, I can't bother. There's a little tiny speaker mount, and there's another little broken thing inside. So I'm going to start off by showing the radio capabilities before I get to... Actually, no. I'm not going to bother showing the radio capabilities till the end. I'm just going to show what's on the inside now. There's two screws, one on the back, two of them on the end, and there's one in the very bottom. I'm just going to move this. You can sort of see me doing this. My arm's in the way. It's not important anyway. Um, come on, screw. There you are. that, that one's going to be really hard to move. It's not plugged in, so that's a good thing. We'll reveal the insides. I'm not actually going to take the front off, but I can't actually access any of the circuit boards because they're all covered. There's a cover over here, covering all the other electronic parts. Um, the, radio most the, uh, the radio circuitry is on top of the main circuit board for the radio. But I think that there's the switch there for recording, if I'm not mistaken. AM tuning bar. Very large motor. I'm going to oil it now while it's open. I can find my zoom spot oiler. And I can't. I don't know if there's a 3 of bottle. But it was manufactured by Panasonic because there are little red screws there, there, and there's one there, and one in there. It's very, very similar to a Panasonic RQ204S. Um, if you want to see a, like different videos, there's one that Clyde said did. He's got one that's got a Panasonic that's got almost identical inside mechanicals, except it's just a cassette recorder. There's no radio. So, where's my 3-in-1 bottle? There it is. I just got to apply a little bit. The belt in this machine is still good, so I don't think I'll have to worry about that. I'm going to move that just a bit so I don't get oil all over it. Spin it a little bit. The motor was getting a little bit noisy. But this thing is a very, very large capstan flywheel. You can also see the little level meter right here. So I'm going to close this back up. Oh yeah, this thing broke. I was doing another video and the whole thing broke. i got to put this back together quickly. Because I've only got five minutes to show everything else. Okay. Put the screw back in. I'm going to start making some references to other cassette recorder collectors. If they don't mind. There. Right way over. 
No, I gotta make sure I actually put the belt back on. I think I did. If not, uh oh. Um. Yep, it's going. Anyway. Well, I'll show the radio first, I think. Okay. Volume on, tuning, of course. Radio on. It's in AM right now. A moment. But first. That would be the digital camera. There it is at a different radio. There it is again. There it is again. Okay, in FM and AM, there's supposed to be a little light that says FM. There's a little AM one, but it doesn't light up because the bulb's dead. Memorial Parkway. New patients welcome. How far will you go? Okay, I'm going to notice it. It's that recorder. Section of this. Um, i got to rewind this. The fast forward is not fast. Rewind is lightning, but... It just spits it set out. Okay, one to the leader forward. This machine has automatic and manual level control. I'm going to put the antenna down so I can show it easier. Okay, you can see the switches on the side. Microphone with the remote. The, um, line in headphone. And then there's mic, uh, there's recording level, which is automatic is there or th at the bottom. Middle is for manual level control. And then there's radio monitor. So I'll show it with manual first. And then I'll show it with the do recording off the radio. It's also got a nice heavy handle, which is wood grain. But, done the business. I gotta be very careful because when I last did a video, the whole mechanism right here broke. You can see it's giving in a little bit. Um, uh, made a very big crunch. Push down the record. Make sure the remote's off. Push down the record. Play. Okay. Whoa. Shoot. I did not used to do this. It's on radio monitor, that's why. I guess it's a PA system. Anyway, um, turn up the, the recording level. I'm still not getting any movement. Manual recording level. Okay. Level is set to 5. Okay. Testing the Bell & Howell Solid State AM FM cassette recorder. And it has AC bias. You can see the little bell and howl symbol flashing red when it's recording. It's set at 5. Let's set it to automatic level control. Okay, we're at automatic level control. Um, meter's still fluctuating okay. Um, this machine does fluctuate good at 10. Though, I'm not going to bother drawing that because I've only got so much time. Let's try our radio monitor. Stay up every month. See in store for details. Live well with Parma. Broadmead Village Shopping Center. Quality is important. When you're making a major purchase, like appliances for your home, okay. the products you're choosing is second to none. At Trail Appliances. Okay, let's see how this works. i got only so much time. Okay. Testing the Bell & Howell Sold Stick FM Cassette Recorder. Something's wrong. Bias, you see the little house symbol flashing red when it's recording. Echo of control. Something's broken. Okay, we're well, going to echo control. It's slipping really uh, badly. Meter's still fluctuating, okay. Try a radio monitor. Every month, see in store for detail. I think it's because the oil got all over the belt now. It didn't used to do that. Music quality in less than 45 seconds. 
Never mind. But when it's working, it sounds pretty good. Very good, clear range. But I guess it doesn't want to do it right now. I guess oil seeped under the belt. Oh well. Anyway, that's the bell and howl.